hello subscribe to the channel i'm going to show you how to make this cute little piggy it is a new year's eve good luck or new year's day good luck piggy from germany i'm going to get started and tell you all about it in a minute so what you will need is some plain marzipan like this natural marzipan you will need some food coloring i've got green here and i've got red here and i'm going to show you at the end of the video how to add the food coloring to your marzipan the reason being is that i don't want green fingers throughout the whole video so i have prepared some earlier so that was the red and that was the pink yes red makes pink uh, so the green um, and the red food coloring does make a lovely um pink color and um la, la, la. yes you can do it with marzipan but you can also do it using fondant so if you don't like marzipan don't worry about it fondant icing is fine as well depending on your preferences personally i don't like fondant icing and i do like marzipan um so it's, it's just a preference and also these piggies they're great for new year's eve um, but also if you are a pink lover anyway you can do them any time of year so you will need to make a little ball uh, you will need to make a little snout. Now these little piggies, like I promised at the beginning of the video, they are from, well, I, I know them from Germany and Austria, where in bakeries, so this is going to be the snout, like a little oval, nice and thin. When bakeries, just after New Year's Eve, um, people can buy these for good luck and they wish people good luck. They buy them as little gifts. Here's a little ear. Um, and um, I'm not sure quite sure, you know, marzipan being sort of a Christmassy, um, thing uh it's just sort of a you know it's made from marzipan because it's sort of that time of year and the the pig is um something good the actually you know what i looked it up the reason why pigs are lucky and i can't remember what the reason is i'll have to put a link in the description below and you can find out why pigs are considered lucky there's also a four-leaf clover attached to it um so uh to, for extra luck and some people make these little piggies with a little um red mushroom because the little mushrooms are also considered as lucky i'm not again not quite sure why but there are traditional symbols of luck so i've got the basic parts oh and i'm going to do a little tail i'm going to do the tail last actually because it always distracts me so you've got a big ball you've got a slightly oval flattish shape you've got some triangles and you've got can you see how it's already coming together four balls and I'm going to just put them together like this and pop my piggy on top. And then you already have your basic shape. That was easy, wasn't it? I told you it was going to be easy. Super easy. And like I said, this works really great. Add fondant as well to make the tail. You get a little thing like this. And then you just curl it up. And because um, marzipan is quite sticky, it's very easy to attach. So now you've got your basic pig. So this is great for anyone who likes piggies and wants to have a cake full of marzipan pigs on top. Um, if you want to use this as a little good luck present at the beginning of the new year, which is what this video is about, you then add some little four leaf clovers. To make your four leaf clovers, I make four little balls, like so. Not too big, it's maybe a bit too small. There you go, got four. I'm gonna put them together like so. I'm going to squash them a little bit because I don't really want balls. I want a, a leaf. Make sure it doesn't stick to your table. So I've squashed them a bit and then I'm going to take my toothpick and just give them a little indent to kind of make them a heart shaped. So that's your kind of the leaves and then you have to get a little bit another bit of green make another little sausage like so and then attach it to the side of your piggy and this is a traditional marzipan good luck charm for the new year little treat um, I then place them on um, a little bit of card like this one and then get some cellophane to wrap it and um, I think they look really 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 cute now as promised I did say I was going to um, show you how to colour the marzipan so if you're still watching well done if you're not watching you've clearly missed out so you take a lump of marzipan now if you want to make pink um, you only take a small 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 amount of red otherwise you'll end up with red marzipan I'm going to do the green one actually no you know what I'll do yeah the green one it doesn't really matter and um, you open it up I can link these um, in the below what these food colourings are but to be honest any food colouring is take a tiniest amount any food colouring is fine 
Um, don't go overboard with the food colouring because these colours are quite strong and then you mix it all together. Now what I should have done is I should have got a little dish. Let me just get one. Oh my God, I'm still here. Little tish, because actually it's easier to knead. I don't want to knead it on my surface because it's going to stain my surface um, green. Well, it depends on your food color actually, but this is very good food coloring. So this food coloring will stain it. So basically you add a tiniest bit. You saw I only did a really tiny bit of the, the knife tip and then you just squeeze and squeeze until it's all mixed in. I think maybe I was a bit too relaxed with my color. Now add a bit more, tiny, tiny bit more. But like with the with the red, you definitely want less because, like with all color theory, if you mix red with white, in this case, the white is the um, marzipan, you get pink, don't you? So um, if you put too much of the red foot coloring, you will get you will get a red pig, and you don't want that. So and that's how you then color your own marzipan. That was really easy, wasn't it? Look at that. You do end up with sticky fingers, so I do recommend afterwards to give your hands a quick wash and a good dry. And then once your fingers are washed and dried again, then you can get started and make some of your super cute little piggies. And I'm going to put all that on there because I'm really neat. So don't forget to subscribe and see you here again soon. Bye.